Hey there, welcome back. Today is February 3rd, 2020. If you can recall on my last video, we had a look at the DJI Tello drone. Uh, we did a review and we did a max altitude hack at the end of the video. So what we noticed uh, was that we had a little bit of a sketchy controls and suboptimal video. And this all happened about uh, 14 meters to 19 meters out uh, from the controller. What we do need to note there is that we actually uh, are in a you know, pretty busy urban environment where we did the review last time and we had a lot of interference. So as you can see, if you go back and check out uh, my last video on the DJI Tello, uh, you'll see that there were uh, notifications popping up in the screen that there was a lot of Wi-Fi interference going on. Now, what we're gonna do now is in this video, we're going to see if we can do something about the sketchy controls and the video that's coming in a little bit laggy when we actually get out around 20 meters uh, in an urban environment. So, um, specs of the Tello say that if you don't have a lot of interference, the max distance that you could probably still control your drone using your phone because it doesn't have a controller would be about 100 meters in ideal circumstances. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go back later on today to the exact same spot, so probably about the same interference uh, that we'll be uh, encountering, and we are going to use the Mi Wi-Fi Repeater 2. So, here you go. That's the Mi Wi-Fi Repeater 2. I hope you can see that a little bit, and it needs power. So, we're also going to be taking out a power brick here and we're going to be using that to actually power the Wi-Fi repeater. Um, I've already done all the setup so if you want to go through an exact uh, you know setup uh, video I'll probably put a link in the description for someone else that has made a really nice video on that that I actually followed and it went uh, went very well. So what we're actually going to do is instead of having the phone connecting to the drone, we're going to have to have the drone connecting to the Wi-Fi repeater and then the Wi-Fi repeater repeating that signal and then logging into that on the phone. And then of course see if we have um, a better range, maybe a better video feed that's coming in. So. What we're going to do now is we are going to take it outside and see what happens. All right, see you there. A oh, small note also is that today we do have a fairly strong wind, something that we weren't encountering last time. So we'll take that into account as well and see what happens. I hope we can actually make the video today. Hey, back again. Now we are outside. Brought the gear. What I'm going to do now is quickly set everything up. We're in the same location we shot the last video. What we're going to do is after I get everything set up, we're going to go straight into the screen that it will be recording off of the controller, which is my iPhone 8. And I will be flying the drone around to see if we can you know, get some extra uh, distance in there uh, and maintain responsiveness and if the video feed, of course, is better. So once again, using the Wi-Fi Plus and the DJI Tello, and we're gonna have a look how far we can go in relation to our last video where we were not using the Wi-Fi booster. All right, give me a few seconds to set everything up and we'll get it up in the air. Okay, second try. Let's hope that the wind will let down a little bit. We're gonna go forward. Moving forward, I'm going into the wind so we don't actually lose the drone. As you can see at this point, we are still very, very reactive and are a lot further away than we used to be. So at this point, I'm actually going to bring the drone back this way. Point it towards me. Try and bring it back. It is responding very well at the moment. Of course, we are experiencing some problems with the wind but that is very normal for a drone like this so we're gonna bring it down again for this quick try land the drone all right we've landed all right we are back inside now what did we figure out in the, the test that we've been running at this point we were looking at of course how far can the drone go without losing responsiveness uh, we can always check that by checking the bars as we make some more distance 
and of course the video stream. Now, recapping, without the Wi-Fi repeater, like I said earlier in the movie, 14 to 19 meters and we were completely sort of out of control, non-responsive video coming in very slow or not at all. Um, actually losing the first uh, uh, bar that was signifying connection at about six meters, we started to already sort of lose connectivity. With the Wi-Fi repeater, actually, the Wi-Fi Plus that we have right here, we repeated the test today in sort of the same circumstances, except the wind, of course, which was horrible. Um, distance, 45 meters that we actually reached, instead of the max 19 that we did in the last run. At 45 meters, we were still full connection bars, so at that point I could have even gone a little bit further probably, or maybe a lot further, who knows, we'll try it some other day when there's not so much wind. And the video stream was still stable at 45 meters. Only reason I actually had to come back is because there is about a 35 kilometer an hour wind blowing here in the Netherlands today, and that is just way too much. So, to wrap this up, if you guys were wondering if a Wi-Fi repeater is actually something that would be useful when you are flying with the Tello, I would say yes, it is worth the money, it's not that expensive. Uh, check the uh, uh, comment box below because I'll put a link there um, of, from another channel where I actually followed the instructions to set up the whole Wi-Fi repeater. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment below if there's anything else that you'd like to see. Catch you guys later.